So I wanted to share about uh, good old melatonin. Um, so yes, I know famous for his sleep, anxiety, jet lag, depression, those kinds of things, but its use in cancer care is also an area that continues to be explored and evolved. And, and there's, there's actually a newer use of melatonin that I would call ultra high dose melatonin where believe it or not, there's, there's use of up to a thousand milligrams per day. Um, so the pioneer of melatonin research in Italy, I'd say he's probably considered the godfather. It was uh, Lusoni. And, uh, and so he, and he was the one who, if you punch in Medline and Lusoni and melatonin research, you'll see all kinds of data uh, for all kinds of cancers. Um, but uh, he then started to explore this ultra high dose model and he published uh, 13 cases. So these were patients where like there's no other options. They were palliative um, and they consist consisted of say glioblastoma patients, uh, you know, pancreatic cancer, advanced uh, breast cancer. And you know, what else do you have to lose? Um, and, um, and what they noticed was that and about half of them, they notice some kind of, you know, stable disease for a short period of time. So meaning several months, you know, five months, some were 10 months. But again, these were cases where there was like nothing else that could be done. The other group that looks like it, things continue to progress its natural course. So then what was interesting is that when you look at the abstract is that, uh, or the article, the, even Lissoni says, it's taken me 40 years to potentially use this kind of higher dose. And if you're reading between the lines, it's like, have we been underdosing patients? So, and what's, it was also interesting, no side effects, uh, you know, cause these are compromised groups. You know, you could really see if something's hurting them or not. And they didn't see any signal for that. So the, from a safety perspective, it looks like it was okay. So I think with melatonin is that there could be this whole other use of higher dose that people are more talking about. I've had some patients use higher dose sometimes by accident and you know, no side effects. And if anything, I remember the first patient was using about 400 milligrams in my practice, maybe about five years, six years ago. And she, you know what she said the first thing? I've never slept so well in my life. But, and again, the and, and the thing that people preconceives like oh am I gonna feel sleepy and groggy I go remember one thing melatonin is not like classic sleeping pills like zopaclone or Ativans or benzodiazepines it's none of those and uh, so they're they're quite gentle generally speaking um, so anyways a thousand milligrams per day in advanced cancers while only 13 cases um, and about half of them seem to have shown some kind of potential activity is nonetheless interesting for such a cheap, relatively safe uh, natural medicine.